Hey there, guys. I have um, accidentally discovered what I think is probably the e easiest and smallest fish farm that you can build on Pocket Edition. I was actually, as you can see back here, I was actually doing a tutorial on how to use an auto clicker. This little guy. How to use an auto clicker with a touchscreen version of Bedrock because it doesn't work the same as other Bedrock versions. We don't have a specific button to push to cast a rod or to attack. For casting the rod you have the fish button and you can't just point it at a note block and keep flicking it because you're just going to keep casting and pulling your bobber back in. Anyways, so I was using Silent Whisperer's version of the AFK fish farm that he came up with and uh, the bobber kept coming out and I kept having issues with it. Um, for whatever reason, it wouldn't sit right in the water, so whenever it actually did catch a fish, it wasn't going directly into a hopper, and I would actually lose the fish and the experience. So I came up with the idea of throwing, a, came up with the idea of throwing the trap door over the hopper to try and keep the bobber in the correct position so that once it went got pulled down by the fish it would actually drop directly into the hopper once i figured that out and how that was working i realized the way that this version works we don't need the note block or the piston all we need is a bucket of water and a trap door, a hopper, and a chest. It's actually extremely simple. And really, if you built this further down, like if I would have built this entire thing one block further down, I wouldn't even need these planks. All I would need is my bucket of water, the trap door, the hopper, and the chest. And this actually works perfectly with an automatic clicker. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. And this is going to be a short tutorial, but um, it's very, very useful for anybody who is playing on a touchscreen on Pocket Edition. So let me get myself turned around and jump right into it. Okay, so um, this is actually my private realm that I, uh, I play on with my kids. Uh, it's all survival. Um, and I decided to build this near my iron farm. And um, I'll put a link to the iron farm tutorial right up here in the corner should be up there right now. Now, the iron farm works differently depending on location, but I'll explain all that in that video. Um, and actually, my audio wasn't working on that one, so I'm not, I'll have to do a voiceover for it later. Anyways, so uh, yeah, this thing. First off, setting up the auto clicker. On this version, on pocket you know, touch screen, pocket edition, to actually get the bobber to go down into the hopper, you actually need to try to cast it as close to you as possible without it coming all the way back. So actually casting against the back wall, the bobber... Well, if it'll cast, there we go. Got a little bit of lag there. 
casting against the back wall, the bobber, see it stops there. It's not actually coming all the way close and see then it goes down and it lags out, glitches out, whatever, and it has issues. Now I did actually get that fish and experience, but it doesn't always give you the fish or the experience. So if you click right here along this line where the water changes direction or you got this angle if you can click right there and cast that bobber comes all the way to the trap door and then once the fish cat hits it it drops directly into the hopper now I don't have to you know click real quick or anything to catch this fish. I mean, obviously it's still just sitting there. I haven't pushed the button to reel the fish in, but because it's sitting there in that hopper, it is still there. So when I push this to reel the hopper in, I got the fish and the experience. That is how this clicker is actually going to work. Because of the way touchscreen works for pocket edition, you can't just, you know, cast your rod. See, you're you're just you can't keep clicking because you're just gonna end up breaking the uh, the piston and the note block. You can't keep clicking the fish button because you're gonna keep casting and reeling it back in. You can't cast and then click like this because, again, you'll never actually reel it in because that's not casting. To cast without pushing the fish button, you actually have to hold down on the screen and the same thing to reel it back in. But anybody who uses actual pocket edition I mean I consider using it on a mobile device the actual pocket edition anybody who uses this version knows that clicking and holding down is how you break things so we don't want to do that so you get an auto clicker I'll put a link to the one that I'm using it does um, it does have some issues and it does glitch a little bit, but um, for the most part it works out fine. So you get yourself your auto clicker, aim on your angle there. You might even be able to aim a little bit below it, but right there along that angle, you gotta get it just right so that the bobber comes back to the edge of the trap door. you get yourself aimed you gotta add two buttons you got it there in the center if you can't see it I know it's kind of hard to see so right there is one button and then you need the second one because you need to be able to click twice you gotta click to cast and you have to click to reel it back in now your first button, because the way that this clicker works, um, it actually goes in order, does the first one, then the second. So you click on your first button here and set it for 30 seconds. That's before clicking, you have a 30 second delay before it clicks. So it'll wait 30 seconds before it actually pushes the button. And yeah, this thing's got all kinds of menus popping up on me. The second one, I, I think that you should leave somewhat of a delay just to make sure that it works right. You don't want it to be like clicking at the exact same time. It might not actually cast. So just to demonstrate, I've got both my buttons set up. I haven't actually started using them yet. See, there's a play button right over here at the side. So I push my fish button to cast. 
my bobber comes all the way back, I'll push play, and in 30 seconds, it'll click the fish button for me. Now see, I've caught a fish, it still hasn't clicked yet, but the fish is still there. The fish and the experience is still there, it just fell down into the hopper. And once it hits 30 seconds, the first button will push, we'll get the first click and then the second click. So it'll reel it in and then it'll cast again. Yeah, I need to make more of a delay. And that's something with this version. I already pushed pause, but it won't actually pause until it goes through the click cycle that it has set up. So at 30 seconds it'll click to cast like that and now it's paused. So now that it's paused I can reset my second button. I actually had it set at 500 milliseconds which is half of a second. That gives it enough time to distinguish between the two button presses. So play, cast my rod, 30 seconds it will reel it in, it can take up to 40 seconds for you to catch a fish. So there I caught my fish, I'm using a, a really good rod so it shouldn't take 40 seconds. If you were using just a basic rod you might want to set it at 40 seconds versus, the, versus 30 so you want to set it at 40,000 instead of 30,000. See there it clicked once to reel it in, then it clicked a second time to recast. And this works perfectly. You can set this up anywhere. Um, if you wanted to make it mom proof, I would suggest, uh, you know, putting, lighting up the area, putting some half slabs around it. See, I've got, I've got lag, but it is casting. So, that, that works, and it works really well. And yeah, see there my clicker, it glitched out because of me trying to pause it and then close it, and it was still waiting for the clicks. Um, but yeah, you could build this up and make it completely mod-proof if you wanted to, you know, build it up like this. Put some stairs around the edge, dress it up any way you want to, get yourself a trap door. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you're safe because you're out in the open. So, you know, just build yourself up a nice little shelter here in the side and then build it up so that nothing can get into it and you're set. And you can just stand there and fish away. So, thank you for, uh, for watching and I hope this works out for everybody. And, you know, maybe this will be a, a really good uh, fish farm for people on uh, Pocket Edition because I know it's it's uh, it's difficult to get anything really good on Pocket Edition. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, make sure you uh, you like and subscribe, and uh, maybe you'll get to see some other cool videos from me, including my iron farm there. So uh, thank you, see you guys later.